Hello, Treasure Valley, and welcome back. Our next guests are here to talk about their very inspirational book called The Angel with Big Feet. So, Treasure Valley, please welcome author Dottie Basie and illustrator and editor Linda Varnes. Ladies, welcome for being here today. Thank, Thank you. you. So, let's go right into it. Tell us about this wonderful book. Okay, um, I wrote the story in 1999. We were camping at Brownlee Reservoir with two of our grandchildren. They were seven and eight years old and I, we were stuck in the trailer and this, I just started telling the story about an angel who had big feet and um, she felt like she didn't have a purpose because she couldn't fly and that God might have made a mistake. So um, it's a story about an angel who finds her purpose and God doesn't change her, change her. he uses her just the way she is. And um, it's just a wonderful story. And then after I made this story up, um, the kids said, uh, Grandma, you need, to, you need to write a story. You need to write a book. And I went, sure, I'll do that. And then about three or four months later, I was taking a 15-year-old a girl down to Boise, and I was telling Heather about the story, and the grandkids thought I should write a book. And she said, she opened up the glove compartment of the car and um, in the car and took out an envelope and got a pencil. And she said, OK, Polka Dot, you start talking, and I'll start writing. And she basically wrote the outline of the angel with big feet and in 1999 Linda illustrated mm -hmm. the book and it all came together and it's the story of the life of Christ it's a parable um, um, spoken through the eyes of an angel and how she finds her purpose in life in spite of the fact that she could not fly oh, wow which is why God gives her a special assignment because she just follows Jesus everywhere uh, what you don't know is that Dottie, I was not the first artist asked. Um, angels appear in a lot of different ways in the culture. Um, you know, the Hallmark cute little sweet angels and the, mm -hmm. you know, the little cherubs. But this, this angel needed to be sturdy and have some character. And in one of my old art books that I've had forever, I found an angel from the year 900 in Turkey on a wall carving guarding Mary and baby Jesus. And this little, little, little person has just the biggest hobbit feet. And the first sketches I made, I made sure they look like Dottie. <laughs> How wonderful. So you got your inspiration for the, for the illustrations from this book then. Mm -hmm. And then now, Dottie, for your inspiration for this book, it was just a story that you made up. It was a story that I made up through the eyes of an angel. But the actual story, at the, the, um, the birth, um, Jesus' life on earth mm -hmm. and his um, death and resurrection, that is all true. Yes. So it's a parable. We learn from it. We learn that God does not make mistakes, um, that he uses us just the way we are, whether we have big feet, we can't fly. If, um, if we have no feet, so God uses us. So he made this us. angel perfect in his eyes, and, mm -hmm. he, and, she, and he, she has her own special purpose that God has for her mm -hmm. then. Well, you know, looking at the book, the pictures are just so colorful. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys did a wonderful job on the illustration for these photos. So much color, which is very eye-catching to me. Mm -hmm. when, I like, when I read, you know, if I look at a children's book, I like to see colorful pictures mm -hmm. and everything, so it's great. Now, um, how long did it take you to put this book together? Not very long. Mm -hmm. We finally decided last summer, if we didn't do it, you know, God was going to give it to somebody else to do. <laughs> and our husbands are, were just getting, you know, more into retirement and we mm -hmm. thought if we don't do this now it's not going to happen so um, the rough draft first the second rough draft was written in Nebraska in July I field tested it on my great nephew who heard the whole story uh, sitting upside down on his head okay and when we finished I asked him if he wanted to see any of the pictures and he said nope I saw all the pictures in my head it's a good story and off he ran <laughs> So. Well, there you go. I mean, that's a, that's a very good source to have right there. For that, Yes, our best critic, this four-year-old. Perfect. Now, I did hear that the book does come in Spanish as well. Yes. 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 El Ango con Pies Grandes. And that in itself is a story. It's a story in itself, mm -hmm. um, how that came about. Um, and it was a real blessing. This, this, the copyright has been given to Lutheran Hour Ministries. And um, they have printed many, many books. 
the books are being sent all around the Hispanic speaking countries and um, a lot of blessings have come out of this book. I don't even speak Spanish but um, just some of my Spanish friends that I've given the books to they are just they feel very blessed. Mm -hmm. It's the story of Jesus. I mean whether it's English, Spanish, whatever the story is the story and it's the truth. Now, for everyone on the Treasure Valley, where can they go ahead and look for copies of these books and pick up co their own copies for them, either in Spanish or English? Well, all three are available at Hastings here in Napa. Okay. Um, a companion book for older children that Dottie kind of border collared me into writing uh, this spring, The Donkey with Big Ears, also has cameo appearances of this angel. But Hastings carries all three. So does um, Artist Blue Gallery at the Karcher Mall. Um, Amazon.com. Amazon.com. Westbo. And where Luther else? Lutheran Hour Ministries for the Spanish. That's the only one. Perfect. And Caldwell, for heaven's sake, the little store. And oh, many, many thanks. Many, many places. Well, to our UPS guy in Napa on, on 12th. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry to cut you off, we're running out of time, but thank you so much for being here today on the Treasure Valley View and showing this You're wonderful welcome, book. Joey. And for all you online shop shoppers, make sure you do check out Amazon.com for your copy of this and hit your local Hastings in, in Napa to get this copy of The Angel with Big Feet. Thank you so much, Treasure Valley. You're welcome. Thank you.